Hey everyone, so this is going to be my first video in my two-part haul. So I am going to record this today, and then when my next stuff comes in the mail, I'm going to record that, and I'm just going to put them together because I don't really want to have like a bunch of hauls because I already do. So I try to like kind of compact them into one. So we're condense them into one I don't know whatever but um this is just from elf and came in a big package like this with bubble wrap inside so I mean elf is pretty good when it comes to wrapping their products but I mean depends on how the mail place like handles it because if they drop it or something, the stuff can easily break whether it's bubble wrap or not. So I did get one broken thing. So that was disappointing. And another thing that was disappointing was that my stuff got lost in the mail. So I had to wait like two weeks for my stuff to actually get here. It got lost completely. They had to reship my stuff. So yeah. So the thing that came broken was the Healthy Glow Bronzing Powder in Warm Tan. And I don't want to, like, show you guys because it's all cracked and stuff. So I just kind of kept the packaging and threw out the product because I'm not going to use a cracked bronzer. So then these were on sale, the um quads. It was, like, the Columbus Day sale or something. They're 40 cents. So I got one in Lux and one in Nuevo Neutrals. And I have both of these, so I'll probably just have them in a giveaway or something. And I really like the red in this. It's, like, really, really pretty. So then I got the Hypershine Lip Gloss. And I really like these because some are pigmented, some are sheer. And I don't know. I, I just like the way they look, and I like the way they feel. So the one I have on now is just in Blossom. It's just, like, a pink. This one's in Fairy, and it's like a pink with, like, golden undertones. And it kind of lo um, looks like Slice of Heaven from Victoria's Secret. So, this is in, like, magazines and stuff, so a lot of people like this. Then I got the um, Elf Professional Travel Mirror. And just looks like that. It has two sides. And I like it because it, like, snaps closed, so if it opens, it, like, it's not going to open any purse, and if it did, like, the stuff would get all on the mirror, like, if your lip gloss is opened or something, and your mirror would get all dirty, but I like this because it snaps. So then I got the lipstick in Gypsy, and this is also from their dollar line. It looked more hot pink, like, this looks red to me like a pink red but it really is a hot pink and that would be right here so that's that so that's everything from the dollar line that I got and I will be taking um swatch pictures just so you guys can see the real pigmentation because like you really can't see the real pigmentation so studio line I got two things and the first thing is the Lip Definer and Shaper in Natural Nude. So it has two sides. The one side has the sharpener. And then the other side just has like a cap. Um, I would like it better if maybe it had another sharpener because it's two-sided. So this is the Nude. And it's pretty much just like a highlight. And then you get your natural, like, lip liner. It's just like a pink. So, this is what it looks like. I really like these. I'll probably put, that's the, um, like, on top is the nude. You can't see that. But, um, oh, right there is the natural. So, hopefully I like this because I really don't like like red lip liners. I don't like very um harsh lip liners. Then I got the lip lock pencil. So it's like that. And it looks like a big crayon to me. I don't know. And it's clear obviously. 
it's kind of like a barrier to prevent your lipstick, lip gloss, whatever, any kind of lip product from feathering out onto your skin. And this, you just turn it up to get more product. So I like that you don't have to sharpen it. I think that's very convenient. Then from the mineral line, I got Pageant Princess Lip Gloss. And I have four lip glosses now. Pageant Princess, Daring, Wild, and Trendsetter. Now, what I like about these two, some are sheer, some are opaque. Trendsetter is pretty much opaque, and wild and daring kind of just give you like a, um, like a tint, but daring's a little more pigmented than wild is. So, this one is just like a Barbie pink kind of. You can see that. And for some reason, my doe foot applicator is bent. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah. So yeah, this definitely is a Barbie pink. I'm going to swatch it twice and then once, just so you guys can see like that it's buildable. So I like that these are buildable, and I really like the consistency. So right here is swatch twice. And right here, swatch once. And you can see that the one time swatch is a little more sheer than the um, two time swatch. Then, the thing I was most excited for that is limited edition is the natural eyeshadow palette. And it just looks like this, and it came with a little brush. And they're really pretty colors. So, I really like that. And let's see if they're, oh, they're very pigmented, actually. So that's a good thing. You could see that. Really pigmented. And I just got the 32-piece eyeshadow set. And this is what it looks like. Now, some of these are very pigmented and others are not. And, I mean, I guess that's what you get. It was only $5. So... Yeah, I mean, it's whatever, I guess. These are just four of the colors down there, you can see. So, yeah, um, let me know if you guys liked any of these products, like if you already bought them, or if you want a review or tutorial using them, and I'll talk to you guys in part two. So this is part two of my haul, and it is from Sephora. Now, Sephora has great, like, value sets, and it definitely helps if you want to try out some new things. So I got two that, like, things I use every day, obviously, and they were just great deals. But first, in this, like, they just gave you, like, a little catalog. So you could find, like, your favorite scent. And they just have, like, the little perfume samples in there. Then for my three samples, I picked um, the Urban Decay, uh, like, eyeshadow duo in Flipside and Midnight Cowboy. And it also came with Urban Decay Primer Potion, like, a little um, sample of it. So just in case, I want to see, like, what I like better, um, Too Faced or Urban Decay. Then it came... I got with then I got this really pretty Sephora like four color eyeshadow kind of thing. And then I got this Hello Flawless SPF fifteen by Benefit. And it comes with like a little sponge and then like I guess foundation. So I will start off. Let me say that I spent $63, and they were having the some kind of 20% off sale, so it only came to like 51 I think, or 54 something like that. So the first thing I got is this Sephora Favorites Lash Dash Mascara Deluxe Sampler, and I really, really wanted this. And look how many it comes with. It comes with 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten for I think like twenty to thirty dollars. And it could help you try out like what mascaras you like because I know that I don't want to buy a high end brand mascara if I'm not gonna like it because they're like seventeen, eighteen dollars and I don't want to waste my money. So first if you buy the full size you can give it to them and they will give you 50 points so that's really good now I'm not really sure if you get 50 points plus the price of the mascara or what but yeah it's a good deal so these are all the mascaras it comes with hourglass mascara urban decay cores Bad Gal Lash, which I really wanted to try. Um, Smashbox Lash DNA, Laura Mercier, Fresh, um, by Supernova, I guess. Sephora Lash Stretcher, Tarte, and Cargo Lash Activator. So I'm probably going to do a video on these. Let me know, um, if you want, like, maybe I'll do, like, three reviews per video, or two, no, ooh. Maybe I'll do two reviews per video, something like that, and we'll see. So the next thing I got is the support favorites, the Little Black Eyeliner Kit. So I got eyeliner and mascara mainly because I love both of them, and I really want to try out some higher brand um, mascaras and eyeliners. So this one, you get 100 free bonus points if you buy a full size of one of these in the set. So you get the Smashbox Arch Liner Brush. Now I think this is like $20 by itself. So I mean that's really good. You get the Tarte Gel Liner. And I think this is full size 